Hi guys, Kerry Ann here. I'm going to show you how to make a really, really good flavoured butter. Now, this is something you can do with just ordinary plain butter and you can use it to jazz up your normal everyday meals like your steaks or your pastas or your fish. Make it look a little bit more posh and try and impress a few mates. Let's get started. So the butter I'm making this time is a garlic and herb flavoured butter, but there are so many other different combinations you can use, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to need four cloves of garlic. One, two, three. These are a bit small, so I'm choosing the fattest ones. A good tip is put your garlic on your board. Make sure your board's supported. Remember the chef's tip underneath with the damp cloth. The back of your knife on top of your garlic, a nice little whack. And then you'll see that the garlic literally just pops out of the skin. And I'm just going to chop this up really finely. Choppy, 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 choppy. And to this, I'm going to add half a bunch of flat leaf parsley. So I'm not going to use all the stalks, I'm just going to use some. So I'm just going to take them off and keep them for another time. What we're going to do is we're going to chop up this parsley with the garlic and we want to get that quite fine as well. So choppy, 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 choppy. Now I'm going to scrape all of this into this bowl. Like that. I'm going to take four knobs of salted butter at room temperature. So one, two, Three, four, and as you can see, the butter's lovely and soft, so that would be so easy to mix with the garlic and the herbs. Then we just want to literally just mash it all together so it's all combined. And then I want to add just a little teeny tiny pinch of cayenne pepper. So we've got all that mixed up. Now we're going to make it into a little sausage because we need it to go into the fridge to set. So I've got a nice little square of greaseproof paper and then we want to put it on. Like I'm not absolutely bonkers here right now, guys. You're going to see why this kept me mesmerised when I was at college as a student and how, why it always has ever since. Now we want to kind of get it into like a sausage sort of shape and then we're going to shape it even more into a sausage. See that guys? And then we're going to crimp the ends and twist. Twist one one way and if you're having difficulty, a good tip, you can roll it like that on the board and it will still twist itself as well. But not only that, you don't have to use grease proof, you can also use cling film. Cling film works great with this as well. And then you put that in the fridge, that'll firm up and go nice and hard and then when you're ready to use it, you just slice and go. Let's have a look at this butter. Listen, it's definitely not as soft as it was and then you can literally slice it off as and when. This would be so good on some mushrooms, on a really good steak. Even, this is gonna sound so bad, but sometimes I even just make a bit of toast and just spread this on it instead of normal butter. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. Don't forget to like it if you like it. Subscribe if you like it as well. I mean, come on, it's free guys. You don't have to do much, just click it. Um, and. But most importantly, I want you to tell me what kind of butters you make, what kind of flavours you add and how you use them. I'm really, really interested to get some more ideas. So please, by all means, let me know, get back to me and then you never know, maybe in a recipe down the line, I might be using your inspired butter. Crack on, but most importantly, have fun guys. I'll see you next time. I'm going to show you how to make the best fried chicken ever. It's called K-A-F-C. Carry hands, fried chicken. Give it a go. Enjoy. See you next time.